Okay, so you're live on YouTube? I was just checking your YouTube. Good news, you're not live on YouTube, so it's working out. Hello, testing, testing. Okay, now she can hear both of us. Well, now they can hear all of us. All right, and hopefully after the clap, Kenzie and I will have uh, equal audio. Let me know if I need to adjust um, Kenzie's volume. Ken, can you talk? Hello, I will be speaking to you this evening with the accent of a 13-year-old Irish girl. Weird. Okay, into it. Can only hear Ken. Just talking to herself, no Corey. I love that. You can only see Corey and you can only hear Ken. <laughs> Perfect! We love that! <clears throat> What your life is worth. Okay, perfect. Did you get the link okay? I did, and I'm all good to go. Perfect. We're all here. Oh, look, there's craft in the... And we have a Miss Drea. She is not quiet. She is loud now. Oh, there we go. She is quiet now. She's not quiet. Yeah, I think we're pretty even now. We should be just fine. She sound, it sounds like she's mouth to mic. Ooh, that's a new fetish. Not even mad. I love a good mouth to mic. Who, I sound like I'm mouth to mic. I can move it a little further away. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think you sound Close fine. <laughs> I'll just I'll just scrooch it over to there, you know. You hear any dogs snoring? Could you not see me? I couldn't see you, um, but I can't see Ken either. But I think that's because of me, not Ken. Ah, there's Ken. Now she's on her phone. Hi, Ken. Welcome. All right. So was today your first time playing Life is Strange, Chapter One? Yes, I believe I sat with someone while they played the first like five or six minutes of that episode and then I was somehow not in the room for the rest of it. I don't remember <laughs> the scenario. <It's> <laughs> but I definitely have never played myself and I've definitely never seen anything past like sitting in that classroom and being confused. So okay. all brand new to me. <laughs> um, so speaking of that opening scene where she like wakes up and she's like in her room, it took me until when it's like you can sh it's like you can do the quick re or quick rewind, right? And that's when the right answer's the top. I thought that was like titling that decision. That wasn't a decision. I thought that was like the name of the decision make. So I went back and did it like four times. And I was like, why don't I have any new answers? I was like, how do I not know the right answer? I physically lived this six times now. I didn't realize until I think the end of the whole first chapter, they do tell you, oh, when you go through a scenario, you retain the knowledge and I didn't, that didn't click for me. So I did some <laughs> stuff that later <laughs> was like, oh, you left evidence of this. And I was like, oh, I could have rewound and I'd still know what I did. You know, that broken snow globe scene. I busted the snow globe and I snow left it. I never found it. a snow globe. Where'd you find a snow globe? Um, Chloe's room, there was a box up on a shelf and I pulled it down and I broke something in there that she really Chloe. cared about. Who's Chloe? Then, Is that the pregnant chick? Wait, no. Oh, Chloe, the best friend. Blue hair. Blue hair, best friend. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. And I didn't realize that if I had rewound, I would have no I would have still seen the photo in the box, but I wouldn't have broken it. I forgot. I was like, oh no, I broke it. I just moved on. <laughs> it's like 
I I didn't really realize until the end how that worked. So um, lesson learned for chapter wow. one. I never found a snow globe. I definitely did. I did go into Chloe's room. But okay, so there's a few like decisions that are made. A, okay, so when you like, Chloe's in the bathroom in distress and you like pull the fire alarm to save her life. And then you, like, run into the principal instantly. What did you do? Yeah. Um, oh, I actually screenshotted my... Did you get, like, your percentages at the end of people who had done certain things? What? No. I didn't know no, no, no at the very end of the gameplay, it's like, oh, you chose this, but this percent of people chose that. You didn't see uh, that or screenshot that? No, 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 no. But, I mean, I still have the game, so I can always go back and look at it. That's true. Okay, so I'll just, I screenshotted it. So the very first scenario they gave you was that you reported Nathan or that you hid the truth. Did you report him or did you tell the principal? I reported him. I thought, I, I told the principal. And Drea the whole time kept telling me that I was a snitch. She'd be like, Corey, you dropped a pencil. You should go tell the principal. I legit was like, I ain't no narc, but like that guy almost killed somebody, dude. I was like, I, I, was I don't like, want to be no... I'm not a rat, but like, come on. I also snitched. 62% of people snitched on him. Okay, so we're in the top percentage. <laughs> you and me and most people also reported on. <laughs> yeah, I was really excited to, uh, I, I couldn't wait to tattle on him. I was like, hell yeah, eat shit, fucking rich prick. Fuck you, go to prison. <laughs> no, and then he was the head. Yeah, and then I got a text from mom that tells me that I'm making up stories in school. I know. I read that and I was like, that must Like, now I got this rep at school. It's like, great. So now my mom knows. Fuck. Yeah, um, the next question I ran into was, did you make fun of Victoria or did you comfort her? What'd you do? Oh, I made fun of her. I sabotaged the paint bucket. I got it to fall on her. And then I walked up took her photo, laughed at her, and then I walked through and I was like, no, we could have gone back and done it again all the exact same way. But I wanted to relive mocking the shit out of her. Okay, so that's amazing. So I actually comforted her and I was part of the 74% of people who did comfort her. You were part of the 26% that said, <laughs> F off, Victoria. So I love that for you. You're unique. You I pulled that. the photo out and later when I meet up with Chloe, <laughs> Chloe looks at it and she's like, haha, fuck that bitch. Like, that's not only do I get to make fun of her, but I also get to go cackle about it later. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's really cool that you get to relish that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good for How you, do you good not for make fun of that dumb bitch? She's so... I, I started making fun of her before the scene even let me. I, like... <laughs> I was making fun of her in the very first scene when she was with this fucking know-it-all. And then we run into her in that Sad courtyard face. and she calls the teacher by his first name. She's like, oh, well, Waltz would never. And I was like, I fucking excuse you calling your professor by his fucking given name. <laughs> like, where do you That's go? how you know you're sleeping with the professor. Exactly. It was like, that girl a hoe. Even if and she I'm ain't a hoe, she wants to be a hoe. <laughs> like, I want to be his hoe. He's hot. <laughs> he is a... Uh, uh, do you know how lit my person. Instagram would be to get with, like, a photographer, like, teacher? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, the next one I ran into was, did you take a photo of David harassing Kate, the security cop harassing Kate Marsh? Did you intervene or did you take the photo? Oh, I took I, proof. After I was betrayed Ooh. by the principal, I was like, fuck that bitch. I'm getting it on camera. <laughs> Dude, same. I took the picture too. Dude, we're in the bottom. 16% of people took the photo. 84% of people intervened. What? Why? Who are those 84% fucking nerds that aren't trying to get fucking physical proof for the cops of this pervert harassing the student? Come on. Yeah. Only 16% of people. You and I. And then I guess no one else. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Everyone's like, oh, stand up for her. Like, first of all, stand up for yourself. Okay? I'm holding the camera. I'm gonna get the blackmail, and we're gonna take him down. Okay? Listen, I'll take the picture, and then I'll stand up for her right afterwards. A picture takes a fucking second. Like, uh, uh, she's not, he's um, not gonna rape and her. And it's worth a thousand it. words. Thank you. Yeah, like, <laughs> Ridiculous. Drea, I ran straight at that. Drea, like, pull, broke the heel off her shoe and went at him with a knife. She was like, like we'll get him. You? <laughs> Uh, Dre made fun of me the entire time because every time I'd be like, oh, I'd like walk into Victoria's room like, oh, a garbage. What did she throw away? And like every time I, I went to the room, I just snooped through all their stuff. I found <laughs> someone's pregnancy test and I like tried to take it. And she like walks up to me. She's like, you're so nosy. So I had to rewind time so that she 
didn't know that I knew she was pregnant, but there's like 70 fucking pieces of evidence that she's pregnant in the room. You like find the doctor's note. She's got a book on it. There's an actual if test on the floor. how they do that. It's true. I did the same thing. I literally, I know Dre was mocking you for picking up that pregnancy test with your bare hand, but I did the same thing. Okay. And then she got so mad at me that I rewound time and I was like, instead I went over to her and I was like, hey, I heard this rumor. Like, such a fucking pussy. <laughs> like, I'm pushing out <laughs> so hard. I bitched out quick. <laughs> I heard I'm a rumor. She's bad. like, do you want to know a real oh. secret? It's dead. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay, but what's funny is that at the end, they have the percentages, right? One of them was, did you touch Dana's pregnancy test or did you not touch her pregnancy test? 98% of people didn't touch it. So everybody touched it and then fucking regretted it and rewound time. <laughs> <is what happened. laughs> Nobody touched it and then didn't instantly regret it. 2% of people stuck with that decision. <laughs> everybody was like, whoops. <laughs> Dre did, ran into the room, grabbed her thumb drive and left. She found zero pregnancy really? hints and carried not 0%. You're looting or detectiving. You're not scoping around. You're not looking in boxes. Come on. No, Dre was really busy looking for nudes, though. She wanted to know what was on the thumb drive, not what was in the room with the thumb drive, for sure. Okay, okay. Well, she was in a hurry to get to the nudes, and she bypassed a lot of intel, but I understand that. <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> did, did you let that guy draw your picture in the park? Someone tried to draw No, I didn't get that at all. What do you mean in the park? Well, when you leave the school after you talk to the principal, you're in, like, this park area... And yeah. like, did you talk to all the students around? I didn't do any of that. I tried to rob the coins out of the fountain and it wouldn't let me. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not. I tried really hard and it's not an option. And once I couldn't commit petty crime, I left the area angrily. <laughs> okay, did you talk to the science teacher with like the security petition? Nope. Um, is that, is that the chick with the hippie necklace? I remember being so distraught at that point that the the principal like abandoned me. And wouldn't help me. Then I walked up to her, never talked to her, looked her in the face, and I was like, I bet you're completely worthless, too. And then I left. <laughs> I let Daniel draw my picture. Yeah, me too, Craft. I let Daniel draw my portrait, and he posted it on his social media page, which I saw later when I was snooping on Victoria's laptop, so I was really excited about that. <laughs> um, Mrs. Crane is a science teacher, Corey, and she starts a petition, if you go talk to her, about... Um, if you want to sign the petition, you're allowing security to install a bunch of cameras around campus. And I Fuck said, that. yeah, I think that's a great idea for safety. And then later I super regretted it because I met Chloe's stepdad, who's just a douche head. And yeah. Security. I was you like, guys are oh, just no. allowing the creep into your bedroom. I know. I signed the petition that lets the pervert watch me at school. I didn't need to know. Can you go back and unsign that? No, it's too, it's too late. <laughs> See, I'm really glad I didn't sign the petition. I regretted it, so good for you. I yelled, I heard you used to have a kid, a, a guy, and then I carried on. I did. I walked up to him. He's all, like, sad. I was like, I heard you used to have a kid. <laughs> I didn't get that. Where was that? Which guy? The football guy? Yeah, but I just, you know, verbally yelled it. She didn't yell it for me because she's a pussy and won't say things. There's a statistic in here that says you let the bird die or you saved the bird. Did you see a bird that needed saving? Nope. Never had a bird in distress. Okay. I didn't either. I have, it says 50% of people saved the bird. And I was like, what fucking bird are we talking about? Like, I didn't even see a bird. Yeah, Maybe there's a bird? bird somewhere and it died and we let it happen, Corey. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. What? I don't understand. Oh, it's that's stressful. I was actually stressed out by that stupid, stupid paint setup. You had to rewind all the way back to them sitting on the steps and then get tamper with the paint can. It that just was second. like, I was like, oh, that know was the best part here. so far in the whole game. No, no, after you did it, yeah, but figuring it out, I was like, I had to go all the way back. Like, I thought I just had to rewind one thing, not rewinding. Far. My literal favorite part of this game so far was sabotaging her. I, I was chanting, carry, carry. The whole time. I was hoping it was going to, like, fall on top of her head and, like, paint would be everywhere. And then I'd be like, click. And then you said afterwards you mocked her and took a picture of it? Yeah. And then ran away. <laughs> oh, while you were in the garage, uh, David is the security stepdad. Did you look through his files and see all of his creep photos? I found everything. Okay, sweet. So did I. Did you, like, clean up after yourself or did, yes. did you leave evidence? No, I cleaned up after myself. But I don't think it 
really matters because if he's recording everything, one of them's in the garage pointed at his security system. But I did rewind time so that there's no footage of me on camera looking at it. Wait a minute. I didn't think to do that. I left all his files on the floor in a pile. <laughs> what? And they sink in water? I know. When he came upstairs, he was like, did you steal my gun and look at my files? And I was like, in the closet hiding. Did you? Okay. That scenario where he comes upstairs and he's yelling at Chloe and he slaps her. Did you rewind time to see the alternative option or did you just power through? What'd you do? I didn't know if you could and I didn't want to... I was I was kind of afraid that in the big decisions of the game, if you, like, rewind, it would only let you... Uh, like, it'll, it'll force you. Decision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it would let you see both decisions. What did you do? Um, so I watched him slap her on the face and accuse her of stealing a gun and looking at her file, his files. Then I rewound time and I stepped out of the closet and then he came over to me and accused me of stealing his files. And then she stepped in for me and said, get the fuck out of here, you creep. And then he threatened my scholarship and he was like, cool. So you're lying to the principal and doing a bunch of drugs. Good luck staying in school. And he left. So he like threatened my whole fucking existence. And then she was like, don't worry about him. I've got backup. And she pulls a, oh, wait, should I be telling you this? Yeah, she pulls a gun out? She's the one who stole his gun. She pulls oh, a gun shit. out of his fucking box. And she was like, I got this to back us up. And then she's like, she cuts forward to the scene where she's like, oh, we should get out of this hick. And I sat there and I was like, I have to rewind time and choose the option where he slaps her on the face because I don't want this choice. So I rewound yeah. it, chose the option where she gets hit. And then I fast forwarded through the slapping because I didn't want to watch it because I'm a pussy. And then we <laughs> moved forward. <laughs> it's like, okay, I am okay. so sorry. So if you make up the big decisions, you can rewind them and choose them multiple times. I was able to watch the second option and then go back and choose the first one again. No, you should not tell her. I shouldn't Drea's have told her. Mad. Her uh, I won't do it next time, Dre. She asked me. She said to. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, oh, you already kind of, you kind of already gave it away. Oh, no, she pulls out the. I didn't think about it. I pulled out my hands and I was like, oh, I shouldn't tell her. I was like. <laughs> Bubble gum. <laughs> Bubble gum. <laughs> Sorry. I was excited this is about bub gums. It was stressful. <laughs> Uh, yes, gun. you can. You can go back and reshoes those big ones too. So heads up. Damn. Okay. Awesome. All right. So what other decisions? What uh? What did you have next on your little list there? Um. It just says you let the bird die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably. I didn't um, save it. <laughs> you left evidence while searching through David's stuff. I did um, not. I am. I am one of nineteen percent of people who did leave evidence because I'm stupid as hell. Eighty percent of people are smart enough to know to rewind time. <laughs> <laughs> I um, like that. Not only did you like not erase the camera footage, but you also just like threw a bunch of paper on the ground and you're like that. Is, that's fine. <laughs> he'll never notice. <laughs> oh my god. Um. He didn't one was... accuse anyone of anything in the room. He was just like. It didn't matter. There was. Uh, did he come at her about the gun, Dre? I don't remember. There was a lot happening in that scene, and I, I was reading tarot to figure out what decisions to make. He didn't, <laughs> and every in the new scenario, he didn't even mention like the gun. He was like, he brought up the gun in the files, and then once you step out of the closet and say it was me, I was the one smoking pot. Then he just starts attacking you and like, oh, your scholarship's in the dirt. You I lied never about. Did that. I just hid. Him. Eh, like he doesn't even talk about the gun he forgets it. and that's when she pulls it out and shows it to you after he leaves yeah she never showed me her gun and she uh definitely took the hit and then was like i just wanted you on my side i was like well then don't tell me to get in the fucking closet next time <laughs> right did you by chance water your plant nope there is nope, a self do not be in here with ken there's a statistic here where it says did you water your plant yes or no 70% of people watered their plant. Did you even go in your room, Corey? I did, but her room was lame, so I went to the other girl's room, fucked up her shit, and took a photo of it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Um, there's a percentage for watering your plant, so that's going to come back to bite you in the ass later, I guess. Oh, I no. <laughs> well, it would make sense because they're like, hang on, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? Get out of here. This is probably perfect. God damn it. There's one that says, did you erase the insults on Kate's door slate? Those little doormats, all the dorm doors. 
on Kate's door, there was a big shitty message, and I erased it and wrote Who a piece. Did you do that? Nope, not at all. I didn't even think about it. What, um... What? Who the fuck is Kate? Kate Marsh, the chick the security guy's creeping on. If you walked up and down the dorm hallways, it says their names at each of the doors. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, and that there was stuff. Well, some of the things. Um, no, I really just, like, fucked up her stuff, and then I, um, I correctly <laughs> guessed that girl's name off the bat. And it, like, blew Dre as mine. Watson? Yeah, I was like, name? it just has to be, I was like, she just looks like a Watson. She did, she looks like a Watson, and it was Watson. We're so smart. <laughs> they were call. oh, Drea did change it, and they said they were calling her out. I didn't know, I wasn't really paying attention, I didn't realize that, like, Kate had her own story going. Like, yeah, to pay attention to. Yeah, by people around her and harassed by the security guard. And on her door shingle, like, in whiteout markers, somebody had erased whatever she had written and wrote some ho shit. And then, like, they drew a picture of a big turd. Oh, I didn't see that at all. So I, I looked at some of them, but I didn't see that one. Up, and I, like, cleaned it and I wrote, like, a piece on and walked. I just remember looking like, at my door going, oh. The creep one, though. What? David's, those are the pictures in the garage you found? That's in David's garage? He's That's all on Kate. Yeah. 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 We're bird killers and plant killers, apparently. Can't keep the plants alive. I, and I, even, I didn't fern. even see a bird. <laughs> I didn't even see a single bird. Yeah, what bird? It's like, you let the bird die. I'm like, what fucking bird? I, I just got her name wrong, and then I left. Oh! So what? you never got your thumb drive then? What did you give... What do you think of, okay, so I'm pretty sure that the rich guy and the rich girl are obviously scheming and they killed the Rachel chick is kind of what I'm thinking. Well, no, Dre didn't, you didn't need to know her name to get in the door. It would have just probably made her more pissed. She's like, I bet you don't even know my name, but the only way to get in there was to give her that proof that you found earlier. So that's separate. I bet you could have not known her name and still got in later with the proof you find in Victoria's room. You had to go find that, like, message or something, right? Yeah, you have to print off an email. Nobody emails blackmail. First of all, it would have been a text if she was texting her friends. That, that whole part was so unrealistic. I hated it. I assumed that I'd get caught snooping around in her room, and I didn't. So I wish I'd explored a little more in there, like, see, like, Victoria's dirty secrets. Because I comforted her, but afterwards, Max, me, was like, I wonder if she was playing me. And I was like, fuck, I bet she was. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I wish I had it. more time to explore her room. That was nice. But Ken's playing oh. a reckless game. She's killing birds, killing plants, and leaving evidence. I left a lot of evidence, but I didn't confess to the crime. I let Chloe get slapped across the face. I don't know if that makes me a good person or a bad person. It feels like a bad well, person. First of all, sorry that your stepdad's a dick, but, you know, we can just run away and be madly in love. The good news is we, tr like, Max, us, I, tracked down that he's got cameras in every room. He's a creep. He's creeping on Kate Marsh. I found all that evidence that he's, like, fucking taking pictures of her and stalking her. Yeah. I'm about to she um, did I did break her me. snow globe. I did leave evidence. I didn't write on a dirty RV. Did you write on a dirty RV? Nope. That was a checklist. I never even found a dirty RV. I, I never idea. found an RV. I didn't either. 80% um, of people didn't write on it. It must not be that big of a deal because nobody else found it either. It it's got to be outside in that, like, campus area. Like, I don't know where else you'd run into an RV. I don't know either. I well, ran into that with the drone, and I tried to talk to her, and I tried every scenario to talk with her, and I rewound a bunch, and every time she was like, you don't know anything about drones, we can't be friends. <laughs> like, she hated me. Okay. <laughs> I never talked to her. I didn't spend a lot of time outside, though. But, okay, when you were at Chloe's house, though, did you, like, go in the backyard and explore? Uh, no. I didn't explore her house that much. I explored her garage a shit ton and her room. But between her bedroom and, like, the garage, I didn't really, like, go around. Did you find some cool stuff in the garden? No, not really. But I'm wondering if you would have, like, if there was a way to, like, walk around outside back there if there was an RV. I, like, read a bunch of stuff on her counters, but I didn't, like, go around the Oh, the RV was in the parking lot? Yeah, that makes sense. The Oh, oh. with the boyfriend? Oh, with the boyfriend. Yeah, I kind of looked at two cars and then some street graffiti, and then I went straight to him because he was yelling. He was like, I'm over here. He, he, he's like, kind of obnoxious okay. in that scene. Yeah, I didn't really get to explore that parking lot, so. Ooh, whatever. <laughs> um, whatever. That, well, those are all for the, um, for the checklist that I, like, that I, the screenshot that I saved from the list. 
but we had some things in common, some things not in common. I, mean, I love that it. you. <laughs> I love that you definitely had interactions with people I did not. I did. I did have some. It sounds like the big ticket visit were the main, the first four main questions, which was, "Did you report Nathan?" Which we both did. did I don't you know. Victoria, <laughs> we did not do the same choice. Yeah, uh, but we did take the photo of David harassing Kate. We, I mean, come on. I want evidence, man. That's how I felt. Hard proof. After I, I was shamed by the principal, I was like, not again. Mom, like, look at this photo. Like, that's what I, I wish I wanted to take a photo of him holding the gun in the bathroom. Like, why can't? That would have been good evidence. I was saying that while it was happening. I was like, oh, get out there with your camera, girl. Get out there. But, like, she didn't. She just, you know, did some shitty fire alarm bullshit. It's crazy that only 16% of people took that photo of David harassing Kate. Everyone else like zoomed straight out to defend her honor, honor white, white horse, shining stallion hero. <laughs> like, no, I'm taking fucking evidence and then I'll go save her. Like what? Well, like, why can't I take her photo and then step in? Like, why mm -hmm. does it have to be one or the other? Like, can't I do it at the same time? Like, I wish I could have like walked around the corner with a smug ass look, taking the photo and been like, what the fuck? You also stayed hidden, correct? In the closet? Yeah. Okay. So we had some similar stuff, some different stuff. You never get to take the pics. This whole game is about making the worst choices and not getting to take the photos you want. I'm curious, with all of these pictures that we're taking of very insane dramatic shit happening in a high school, which photo we're going to submit for that? Uh, like photo photography guild that Mr. Whatever teacher jo Johnson oh, Jackson. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like, what is she actually gonna submit? Do we get to choose that? But because we're taking some good photos these days, <laughs> some shit happening. Too. I love get... the idea of like, well, maybe she dies. Like, maybe she gets to like take a photo of something and she'll submit it. That'll be her proof of her like dying. And so, like, later, people will find out, like, what's going on, like, what happened to her. And, like, that photo will be, like, done, done, done. Also, the whole time Dre was, like, yelling at me. She's like, you're a snitch. She made the wrong call. And all I could think of was speak in the book, how they call her a snitch the whole time because she calls the cops at the party. And I was like, she's getting so fucking, like, like taking the honeypot right now. Like, she's getting gaslit so hard. Like, she's not doing anything wrong. It's like, okay, you guys know that if I didn't rewind time, you would have shot her in the stomach in the girl's bathroom. Over a photo of me ripped up. Like, it would have looked like I killed her. She would have been dead. Like, I, I didn't even report him to the cops or take his photo. I was just like, oh, I saw him waving a gun around. <laughs> like, you saw him commit a murder. <laughs> like, I don't want a snitch. I'm just, I don't want him to kill me. That guy's all hinged. He's crazy. He's on drugs. They talked about drugs and money in the bathroom. That guy's high as hell, and he's firing off his fucking pistol in the high school bathroom. In Get a high school, here. right? Like, if he would have just let her die, at least he would have gone to prison. Get him arrested, man. We don't need this guy in the street. Also, he what if we get to choose of our photos what we submit? I'm definitely going with the carry photo. <laughs> submit all the photos. I, at least the ones that follow this fucking path, because it's intense. We barely know her. No, no. Chloe's our best friend. Remember? Chloe's fine. No, no. Victoria, I want to submit the photo of Victoria getting fucked up by paint. Like, <laughs> I literally have the power of God and anime on my side. What the fuck do you have? It's, uh, it's intense. It's, it's an intense high school period. Also, who was in charge of the writing or the scripting of this when they're like, this isn't anime or a video game. You just don't get to do that. I'm like, okay, but it is a video game so it's a stupid line and yeah, it's not really it's not really well but um that's okay you know max says in a couple of different sentences how frustrated with victoria because she's the bestest and the nothing else is just and it was just so grammatically wrong and i was i get that we're in high school but like <laughs> so upset. did you read her journal i read through some of the pages yeah. I started stream by reading eight fucking pages of her journal. And by the end of it, I was like, I don't even want to be her friend. I hate the main character. I read like <laughs> the first two pages and then I didn't know where to go from there. And I was like, this can't be like, what if the teacher calls my name? I need to be able to pay attention to class. So I like left the journal to go back. Hold 
up. And then... So we could have taken the photo because we get to keep all this stuff that happens. So we could have taken the photo and then rewound time and gone back and saved and stood up for her and had both things. Is that what you're telling me right now? Um... I don't know. I was like, just scared on the big decisions. Ones, well, I, I think some of them you can't, but obviously some of them you can, because I did it with her in the bedroom. I watched both. I had it both ways. <laughs> I got to I gotta choose. <laughs> See, okay, so next time I'm going to try when I'm like, oh, I need this photo and I need to help. Like, I'm just going to rewind time. I need to rewind some of the big decisions more because I did it. I figured in a game that could rewind time that it would be like you have to choose one or the other. You can't have both choices. I well, see that, but... But I, at the end, like, I lived through him slapping Chloe, and then I rewound it, and then watched her stand up for me, and then she waved her gun around, and then I rewound it again, and I let him slap her again, <laughs> and that's the one I went with. So you don't get both choices. You can act out both choices, but you you can't get both of them. Like, you can, oh, well, you right, have right, to right, choose but, one. But you don't want both choices. You just want the intel you gained from the other choice. Yeah, but that's what I'm, I'm saying with the photo scene, though. Like, I wanted the proof of the photo. I wanted to keep the photo and then rewind time and then intervene, you know? And so I wouldn't uh, get both choices there. You wouldn't get to keep the photo. You, as yourself, would know the difference, but your character would not have a she photo proof. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I think that was a great first chapter. I would not be upset about seeing what happened too. Why would anybody interfere when he's attacking her when they could have a picture of it? <laughs> it's called I, blackmail. <laughs> you know, picture takes about a second. So, you know, forgive me for being like, Kaching, hey, you there. I mean, <laughs> in real life, that's totally. If, first of all, um, I would have stolen that bitch's tablet, step one, and I would have been recording life at this school because I'd be like, hmm, YouTube's going to have so much fun with these bullies. Um, when those three chicks are blocking the steps, I guess you'll have to go around. And I was like, or I could stomp your little bitch nose into the sidewalk here and crawl up the stairs, stepping over your brains. Fucking sick. It didn't bro. let me. It didn't let me choose that for some reason. But if if that happened in real life, I would sort of kick her in the fucking throat. I'd be like, <laughs> get off these stairs, or I will kick you in the throat. I will take this backpack filled with fifty science textbooks, and I will hit you with it. And your parents will play for the plastic surgery, and I will go into my dorm room. Like, no, fuck you. Straight to fucking sitting there. I guess you find a way around. I just walked in circles in front of her for like five minutes because she's like, um, do you not understand English? I'm like, oh, is this bothering you? So I just like <laughs> kept walking back and forth in front of her. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> you, like, there has to be something better for you to do with your heels, suck up, bitch. Has to be, right? Ah, I just wanted to stomp on a little... Her little fucking nose pokes up. I just wanted to stomp it flat with the rest of us, you know? Her nose pokes Absolutely. up way too high. <laughs> well, and she, like, but... goes into the bedroom, and she's like, wow, her clothes are so expensive. I can afford my tuition with this. I was like, so take the clothes and sell them and pay for your tuition. What are you doing in here? Like, what the fuck? So I was just like, this is lame. Can't steal anything. If that happened in real life, you would leave all the evidence and let Chloe take the heat. If if this game was happening in real life and I had the power to turn back, I would make a whole lot of different choices in real life, Dre. Wouldn't you? You'd be like, let's see what happens. I can rewind time. Oh, <laughs> you know. First like, of all, if this game was real life, I would be Chloe. I would not be Max. Like, knowing you have the ability to change things that happened in the past would change a lot of my decisions. Probably to a bit more reckless than they should be. But it's because I know I have the superpower to go back in time. Like, I want to see what happens. I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, first of all, a non, like, no consequence ability to rewind time. I can't promise I won't be a, a villain by the end of this. I I'm will mostly use... just curious to see what would happen. It doesn't mean I'm always going to choose the bad choice. But I want to know what the bad choice leads to. <laughs> it's like Ken's gonna die at the age of sixteen because she's lived a thousand years. <laughs> I just want to know. I'm just curious. Yeah, that's what my friends call me, Whisk. <laughs> if Andrea could rewind time, it wouldn't be wasted on people's sexting boyfriends. It'd be erasing the proof that she's been sexting boyfriends. <laughs> uh... She's like, "Oops, got caught. Rewind." <laughs> She'd be like. No, no, no. 
I wouldn't have to worry about sexting proof because I would have sex with some guy and then I'd just for one time afterwards that he'd forget. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Yo, it's the perfect crime. <laughs> The pep, nobody knows, and I, st- I still get it. I've never been more in love. Not. He's never even met me. I just use him for sex when I want, and he doesn't even know. <laughs> what an amazingly oh, no. diabolical plan. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we've created a monster. <laughs> you guys, Trey is the true villain, I think. <laughs> Rewind, delete. <laughs> <laughs> and he okay, gets to keep... Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Kenzie would just uh, find, like, the most successful person around her and, like, rewind to when he wasn't successful. I'm mean, like... I love you. <laughs> Hello, like, sugar daddy. Like, oh wow, who would have ever suspected that you'd grow up to be so successful? Uh, I'd love to m- get marry you with no prenup. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> no prenup. I'm gonna marry you before prenups. Back when I'm worth something and you're not. Guess who won this game? <laughs> it's it's the- like a Black Widow, but instead of killing them off, you just erase yourself from their memory. <laughs> da, 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 da. I feel like every time Ken would do it, she'd go, obliviate. And then she would, like, delete herself out of time. (laughs) She'd put her cape on and walk away. (laughs) I'll be the new Doctor Who. Don't worry. Go to see who Um, wins. Oh, I'm tired. How are you? This has been a really great talk. No, I feel sad about it. No, dude, that was really fun, though. Actually, I enjoyed the game a lot more than I thought I was going to enjoy it. I did as well. So, um, same time tomorrow? Yeah. Just me check yep. the old calendar. What time did we start today? I, I said same time tomorrow, but I don't know what that means. Um, well, we said 3.30-ish. We ended up starting at, like, 4.30-ish. So, 3.30 again? <laughs> the, what is today? Today is Monday the 21st. Tomorrow is Tuesday the 22nd. Wednesday is... The 23rd, Alexa's birthday. Oh, I have dinner with Shy tomorrow. But that's okay. I can do this first and then dinner with him after. Well, yeah, give me a better time frame then. What time? Um. Well, let's... What time did you... We can start at four. Are oh, we doing two chapters or just one chapter tomorrow? Oh, I forgot that neither of us owns the game. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, well, let's talk about this after. Let's go ahead and close okay. this up. Okay. All right, guys, I had a really good time uh, doing that. We will continue again tomorrow. Check Twitters to find out when exactly we'll be live. Uh, check OnlyFans and Patreons to find uh, today's VODs. I am going to be taking my VOD down off Twitch. It's going to be an exclusive along with all of this um, epilogue will be exclusive to Patreon and OnlyFans for me as well. Same. So thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I had a really good time. I love all your faces. And we'll see you again for tomorrow. Otherwise, I think Dre's going live tonight on Twitch. Go say hello to her.